Here is a question. What do you mean by the judgment of Christ? The expression confuses me a little, as I thought Christ consciousness is not about judgment. Thank you a lot for the videos and possibly answering. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Yes, so I understand that this can <clears throat> be a confusing concept because if you um, if you actually look at the New Testament, you can find that Jesus at one point says, "For judgment I am come," and then he also says, "I judge no man, but if I judge, my judgment is righteous. I judge righteous judgment." And he talks about judgment in other uh, places. So let's, let's um, try and we can sort this out. So what I have explained in several videos is that um, everything is created out of what I call the one mind or the Christ mind. This is what Gospel of John says, without him was not anything made that was made. And in the beginning was the Logos and the it was the only begotten of the Father, is the Christ consciousness, not a specific person. Uh, so <clears throat> the, the Christ consciousness is what ties all forms together and what ties us to our Creator. So we all know we are out of the one source. So <clears throat> the, the, the purpose of the judgment of Christ is that whatever illusion we go into, there is always the Christ mind that can offer us an alternative to the illusion, so we can see through the illusion and go back up. I've explained that there are 144 levels of consciousness possible on Earth, and that below the 48th level, you go into separation. And I called it the consciousness of separation, the consciousness of duality. You could also call it the consciousness of Antichrist, because in this state of consciousness, you are using <clears throat> the logic of the serpentine mind or the consciousness of Antichrist <clears throat> to create <clears throat> all these illusions and claim that they are the absolute truth. And so <clears throat> the function of the Christ mind is to that no matter how low you have gone, even if you've gone to the very lowest level, there is something there, <clears throat> my goodness, that can help you start climbing back up the ladder of these levels of consciousness. And this means that <clears throat> Jesus actually said also in the scriptures uh, that the Father judges no man because he has given all judgment to the Son, and that is the Christ consciousness. So the way that um, uh, th is meant is that the judgment is a you are judging, you are evaluating, you are discerning between what is out of the one mind and what is out of the separate mind. Is it of Christ or is it of Antichrist? Which Jesus also called Satan, as when he said to Peter, get thee behind me, Satan. So because Peter was imposing a certain interpretation from the mind of Antichrist upon Jesus, and this is what the mind of Antichrist does. It claims this is truth. So <clears throat> the, the judgment is at this level, it allows us to discern what is based on oneness, what is based on separation, what is Christ, what is Antichrist. So the reason why Jesus said, judge not lest ye be judged, for with whatever measure ye meter out, it should be measured out to you. The reason for this is that he was saying the uh, consciousness of Antichrist has this tendency to judge everything based on the consciousness of separation, the illusion of separation. And that's what you see people do all over the world. They're judging each other. Oh, you are wrong because you are not believing in my little interpretation of the Bible. You're not a real Christian. You're going to go to hell. That's what Jesus said. This is the judgment based on appearances. He said, judge not based on appearance, judge righteous judgment. In other words, connect to the Christ mind and use the Christ mind not to judge other people in order to put them down or make them wrong, 
But to value it in yourself is the illusion or the belief I have is it based on oneness or separation. You can also evaluate others, but you don't do it for the purpose of putting them down or making them wrong. You're discerning in a neutral way, not this value-laden, you know, you are a bad person, you are of the devil, you are going to go to hell. I don't know how many times I've had Christians tell me, oh, you are of the devil. Um, and that's obviously judging after appearances. They wouldn't agree with that, of course. But anyway, so, <clears throat> so this, is, this is one level of understanding the judgment of Christ. It's the discernment between what is of the Christ mind, what is of the separate mind, the mind of Antichrist. But there is a higher level of this. And Jesus said, for example, for judgment I am come. So you see, he also said, I judge no man. Because he doesn't judge based on the consciousness of separation, duality, where you have the two dualistic extremes, you're saying this one is right, this one is wrong, so those people who believe in the wrong one, they are bad people. That's a judgment after appearances. So, but Jesus also came uh, for a different kind of, of judgment. And there is a, there are different, there are a couple of levels of it. So the first level is that Jesus came to give people an alternative to the consciousness of Antichrist. Because most people on earth back then and even today are completely trapped in the consciousness of Antichrist. I've talked about in several of my videos how we can have all of these subconscious selves based on the illusion of separation. They form a perception filter. They color everything we see, like putting on the color glasses. And this is what most people are trapped in. And they can't see, once you are in this, as I also explained in my videos about non-duality, once you are trapped in this duality consciousness, you can't see beyond it. You can't see it as an alternative. So Jesus actually comes to demonstrate that there's an alternative. There's a different way to live. There's a higher state of consciousness. And this, at one level, gives people a choice that they didn't have before. When all they see is based on Antichrist, they can't choose Christ. So now that they have encountered Jesus in a physical form or anybody who is one with the Christ mind, they have a choice. Now, it's important to understand that it wasn't just Jesus who could do this. All of us have the potential to put on personal Christhood, to see Jesus as an example, and we can be the open door for the Christ mind. So this is part of what many spiritual people are in embodiment to do. It's part of our life plan, is to give people this choice between a higher awareness and the consciousness of Antichrist. So when people have been uh, shown that there's an alternative, they can now make a choice. But what if they don't choose to accept Christ, but choose to deny Christ and stick to the consciousness of Antichrist. Well, that then becomes a certain judgment upon them. They are not being judged by the mind of Christ. <laughs> they are being judged by their own choice. They are they're judging themselves in a sense that they are choosing Antichrist over Christ. This doesn't mean they won't get another opportunity, because they will get opportunity after opportunity, uh, but it just is a certain uh, judgment there. Um, but then there's a, a higher level. Well, actually, f let me first finish that thought, because it's important to understand that the Christ consciousness is not judging people, and the person who embodies the Christ consciousness is not judging people. You're just giving people the alternative. And then you leave it up to their free will what they do with it. And that's why uh, Jesus said when they crucified him, Father, forgive them for they know not what they, what they do. Because he understood that they were still so trapped in the consciousness of Antichrist, they didn't really understand what they were rejecting. They didn't understand the full ramifications of it. But then there's another consideration that comes in. And in order to understand this, you have to have watched my video about how the world was created because you have to understand that there's something called fallen beings who are rebelling against the purpose of creation, rebelling against the purpose of growth. And um, they are the ones who want to control everybody, and what they basically want to do is shut out the Christ from this world. 
So you see uh, in the story about Herod, who killed all of the male babies because he had had this prophecy that there was one baby that would be born that would threaten his reign. That is an example of the fallen beings the who are in the consciousness of Antichrist. They are so concerned about shutting out the Christ from this world that they are willing to kill all male babies in order to prevent the one who had the Christ consciousness from being born. And they will do anything they can to shut out the Christ from this world. And by the law of free will, because of, as I've explained in my other video, they have been allowed to come to earth, uh, but they only have a certain time here. And there are two things that can shorten the time they have here on earth. One is that people who are in embodiment on earth make choices to abandon them and not follow them blindly. But the other is that they encounter a person who has embodied the Christ consciousness, and they either reject that person or they outright work against him or kill him. So, there were specific fallen beings that were behind the killing of Jesus, the crucifixion of Jesus. And they received a judgment of Christ 2,000 years ago, which meant that they couldn't stay with earth. They had to leave earth. Some of them went through what I call the second death, where they were dissolved. Others went to other places. And so this is another level of the judgment of Christ. This is not something that we really need to worry about, uh, because you need to have a certain level of Christhood before you can become the instrument of that. And it's not necessarily that everybody who reaches that level of Christhood has to be killed. And it's not something you need to go around consciously thinking about, because if you are attacked and they receive the judgment, it's not something you are out of mind needs to be engaged in. But, but it is that level. At, at the very broadest level, it's just you have the chance to discern between what is of the one mind and what is of the separate mind. At a higher level, you uh, encounter a being who has embodied the Christ mind, and thereby you are actually now given the choice that, oh, you could do the same. This is what most Christians don't grasp because they have created, put Jesus up there on the pedestal as the only Son of God, so he was the only one who could be the Christ on earth. And so many people have, because of the Christian religion, denied Christ in themselves, their own Christ potential, and denied it in other people. I have had uh, Christians who, who deny that I can do anything beyond the ordinary, that I could have any contact with the Ascended Master Jesus, uh, because it's, they, are, they are using the consciousness of Antichrist to deny that there could be more than one person who had some level of Christhood. I'm not saying I'm the only one, obviously. So, so when you meet somebody who is a human being like you, who has attained the highest state of consciousness, you gain an opportunity. Will you either deny that person, or will you idolize the person and say, oh, this guru is so special, like many people, spiritual people do. My guru is so special, but he's the only one that's so special. So you're either denying the Christ, or you're elevating the Christ to an exception, thereby denying the Christ in yourself. Either way, you're denying the Christ in yourself. And that becomes another level of judgment. You know. And then there's also the level of judgment where you can say that if you're using the consciousness of Antichrist to conscious, constantly put other people down, evaluate people, criticize them, oh, he is wrong, they are of the devil, uh, this is so, uh, you know, all of these judgments that people have, these value judgments based on duality, as I explained in my non-duality videos, you're judging yourself this way as well. So, in other words, Christ doesn't go around judging you, but you are judging yourself by your actions and choices. And then, of course, the uh, highest level of the judgment of Christ is these fallen beings who are deliberately trying to destroy Christ and shut out Christ from the world, and just deliberately trying to control other people and prevent them from attaining Christhood, they can receive a certain judgment where they are no longer allowed to be associated with Earth. They are removed from Earth, which means that the, the Earth now has a, 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 an opportunity to rise higher. There was a certain group of these fallen beings that were judged when they killed Jesus, but there are still some, both in the physical realm and the emotional, the mental, and the low identity realm that are associated with Earth. Some of those will be judged as more and more people embody a certain level of Christhood. Uh, and 
is part of the progression of the Earth. And eventually, as we move deeper into the golden age of Saint Germain, there will come a point where there are no longer any fallen beings associated with Earth. And that will be a tremendous acceleration of the planet. So I hope this uh, helps clear up some of the confusion. I understand why there is confusion if you just read the scriptures. In fact, I, I continually wonder how fundamentalist Christians can read the scriptures and go for a literal interpretation and not see the obvious contradictions. Because if you try to uh, look at Jesus saying, for judgment I am come, or I judge no man, how can you not see that that's contradictory? And so then, when you see some contradiction, you must say, oh, there must be a higher understanding. There must be higher nuances that I haven't grasped. But anyway, that's just my wonder.